members is, who is the best person to defeat Keir Starmer and the Labour Party at the next election? I believe I'm the only candidate who can do that. And my values are also those of our members. And I've got the experience and the vision to translate those values into a government that delivers for the British people and ensures that this is the best country to live, work and raise a family anywhere in the world. People you sat around the cabinet table with have been criticising your economic policy. Are you surprised to find so many think it's a terrible policy? I've always said that I want to be honest with the British people about the challenges we face and be responsible in dealing with them. And people know my track record. I helped get this country through an incredibly difficult period over the last couple of years. I made sure that we supported those who needed our help at every step with interventions like the furlough. That's what people can expect from me going forward. And at a time of challenge, I think we need someone who's got the experience to do that. That's what I offer. But crucially for our members, I am also the person who can beat Keir Starmer in the next election, and that should be uppermost in them. This morning, Penny Morden put out a tweet and then deleted it, which told MPs that if the final is Rishi Sunak versus Liz Truss, then you'll murder the party that you love. What do you say to that? Yeah. This, this contest has shown that the Conservative Party actually has a fantastic range of people in it, all of whom bring something exceptional and different to the table. I'm really excited about the future of Conservative government in this country because of that, and I know that if I'm successful, I will try and build a team that draws on all the talents and strengths in our party, because that's what Britain deserves. So even though you said her policies were socialist, Liz Truss would have a place at your cabinet table? I said this leadership contest has shown that we've got fantastically able people at the top of our party. All of them bring something exceptional to the table. But at this point, the question for our members is, who is the best possible person to beat Keir Starmer in the next election? And it's clear that I'm the only candidate who can do that. But can you just address this straight on, be straight with us? Do you regret the blue on blue attacks? Keir Starmer has just repeated that, them back to us. People say it's a gift to Labour. Do you regret them and will they stop? Well, what we've seen is actually a debate about ideas, which is very healthy, and it's good for us to debate ideas to make sure that we get the policies right for the country. Now, people have heard from me a positive vision about what we can do. I'll tackle our problems with honesty and responsibility. I'll make sure that we support people. I'll make sure that we grow our economy and take advantage of the freedoms that Brexit gives us. But crucially, I am the person who is best placed to beat Keir Starmer in the next election, and that's the question that Conservative Party said, members now have. said that a few times. Just finally, have you been lending votes to other candidates? No, absolutely not. As you can see from the results that have just been declared, this has been a really close contest and I'm really humbled that I've made it to the next stage. I'm grateful to all my colleagues for their support. All I've been doing all day today is talking to them, outlining my vision for the country, outlining how I'm the best person to beat Keir Starmer in the next election. And I'm delighted that I'll now be able to have that conversation with all our members and hopefully convince them too.